I am the director of the Graduate School in Biomimetic Fiber Engineering and and as such I am uh, of course responsible p for a lot of the, the practical issues and uh, uh, in, in, in that uh, respect uh, we can mention specifically organizing and planning the activities of the school, uh, examination and uh, I'm doing this work together with Henrik Asperborg who is the coordinator of the graduate school. I'm a researcher uh, at, at the uh, Biomime Bio Center and uh, as such I am of course involved in the activities specifically also at the scientific level of Biomime and uh, we will uh, hear more about my subjects later in the course but uh, shortly I can say that I work with the three-dimensional structure determination of proteins which is the basis of uh, knowledge that we use for tailoring enzymes to to do basically things that we want them to do and uh, by, by determining the three-dimensional structure of a protein molecule we can actually see each atom and from that we can derive how the enzyme function and from the function we can in most cases I should say uh, change the protein to do slightly different uh, reactions and, and for the purpose that, that we are interested in. So in my research I'm working to determine the three-dimensional structures of proteins and we're doing that because we know that from the exact arrangement of, of atoms in 3D space we can derive also the function of the protein and that is very useful when we want to first of all understand wh what the protein does, how it works, what's the mechanism of action but also if we want to change the protein to do slightly different things as maybe new uh, reactions to put on new types of, of uh, functional groups on a fiber for instance which is pretty much what biomime is, is about but with enzymes we try to understand how does nature do this in order to actually use it ourselves in new contexts so what we see here is a, is a model of a protein which is a, what we call a cellulose degrading protein it cuts away uh, smaller sugar residues from a longer polymeric chain of glucose and this is, is a hypothetical model in the sense that we do not know exactly this big part in the membrane which is the actual complex that synthesizes cellulose but we know that this protein is sitting fairly close to this and trimming down the polymers that are synthesized by, the, by these large uh, hexameric as we call it complex in the membrane so this is hypothetical this is a more reliable structure and here we see the membrane in which the the, the hexameric synthesis is, is situated now keep in mind that this is a hypothetical model but it shows the kind of power that 3d structural data has and when we when we know the structure as I said we can also start to derive the function mechanism and how to use it for our purposes.